We can use a gate to open and close dependent on the volume of an instrument through our PA system. Um, we want to use a gate if we want to reduce spill, for example on a drum kit from other instruments, um, so that we don't hear, for example, the snare in the bass drum channel and, and things like this. Um, this particular gate is quite a straightforward gate. Um, we've got four main controls that we're going to use. We have threshold, hold, release and range and ratio. What we need to do to begin with is find the volume of our particular instrument. So for this we're using a bass drum. So to find the volume that that is being played at and therefore will trigger the gate to open, we need to turn our ratio all the way up. What we now need to do is listen to the bass drum and whilst increasing the threshold level we should start to notice a tonal difference um, in what we can hear. We know the gate's working because we can see the red lights. This indicates that the gate is shut. Uh, we're also losing some of the bottom end frequencies out of the bass drum. If I was to turn the threshold up even further, then we would not be triggering it to open and would result in complete silence. If we reduce the threshold back, we should introduce the bass drum back in. So what I'm looking at now are the lights that we have at the top. We've got a green light that indicates the gate is open when the bass drum is hit and a red light that indicates when the bass drum is closed um, between the hits. But at the minute this is opening and closing far too quickly. So we need to use the release and the hold controls to try and get some of the, mo the bottom end back into the signal uh, and make it sound more natural. We'll begin by using the release. This controls how quickly the gate shuts after the, the, the volume level drops back below the threshold. As I increase the release, what we should notice is that the red lights take longer to form a completely closed position and the sound starts to, to fill back up in the bottom end. And whilst that's sounding quite good, we can just make it sound even more natural by increasing the hold. This controls how long the gate remains open before the release starts to close it. Um, we're dealing in milliseconds. Um, we've set the release to just below half a second uh, and we'll turn the hold up until uh, we get the bottom end back in. We could, if we wish to now, reduce the ratio, so instead of closing the gate completely, we still maintain some of the very quiet um, sound that's going on, so it doesn't sound quite as, as obvious as, as, as a gate opening and closing. So what we've got here is a threshold of just above minus 35, a hold of just below half a second, a release set just below half a second, with a ratio of 1 to 2. That's quite a, a common gate setting for something like a bass drum. It means that we can hear the bass drum as we intend, but when the bass drum is not being played, the gate is going to remain closed. We can use the LEDs to give us a, an indication of what the gate is doing. When we flash green, that indicates when the bass drum is triggering the gate to open. We then have an amber light that shows us how long the gate is remaining open for according to the hold setting, and the red light indicates when the gate is shut. Because we've turned the ratio down uh, to give it a minus 15 range, or a ratio of 1 to 2, uh, we're not completely closing the gate, it remains open 
um, we have a gain reduction of approximately minus 15 dB and that's indicated by this.